everyone, welcome to the initiative order for episode three of Power Rangers Supernova. We're going to go around real quick and introduce who we are and who we'll be playing. So as every episode, we like to do this in reverse Ranger order. I'm kidding. We are going to do this in... <laughs> I was ready. I was ready. I knew you. Yes, you were. I saw the fear. So we're going to do introductions and who we're playing in Ranger order. Matt, take it away. Hey everybody, I'm Matt Joro, and I'll be playing Derek Walker, the Green Ranger. Hi everyone, my name is Christian, better known as Kappa. I'm playing Sky, I'll be playing the Black Ranger. Hi everyone, I'm Cynthia Marie, um, I will be playing Cece Corazon, your Pink Ranger. Hi, I'm Kara858, and I'll be playing Rowan, your Blue Ranger. Hello everyone, I'm Utahime, I will be playing Nicole Freeman, your Yellow Ranger. What's up, everyone? Andrew J. Alandi playing Aaron Hank, Red Ranger, standing by. And I'm Dan Wood. I'm playing basically every other character in this, and it's been hilariously fun. Also, you may notice behind us little evil character portraits. Uh, why doesn't everyone also introduce what villain they're playing? We're we playing Goldar. Finster. Rita Repulsa. Squat. <laughs> Scorpina. Lord said. And Babu with my chair blocking his face because, oh my goodness, that's an amazing little look there. I should get a monocle. <laughs> Those look really cool. So yes, one little fun thing we like to do with our Power Ranger series is have the players also play the bad guys at the beginning of the episodes. But before we get started on all this, we have one heck of an amazing uh, intro video to get everyone pumped and set for the night. So we're going to play that and then we'll do a setup for the episode. So we'll see you back here in just one second. That intro every time is so amazing and is a perfect scene setter for what we're doing here. So, uh, Rangers, bad guys, are you ready to get into it? Mm -hmm. All right. Let me just find the little intro I had written up to get us started here. All right. Previously on Power Rangers Supernova, the Supernova Rangers faced the formidable challenge of the evil collector Nick Knacker. Their determination, teamwork, and new zords led them to victory. However, a new thread emerges from the depths of the digital realm. As the city of Angel Grove continues its daily routine, a sinister force has quietly embedded itself within the lives of its inhabitants. Spectrum Social, a seemingly innocent social media network created by Babu, <laughs> has ensnared the minds and hearts of Angel Grove's population. Little do they know, behind the likes and shares, a malevolent influence awaits. The Supernova Rangers must harness their powers to protect the people from the digital menace that threatens to consume their souls. As the lines between reality of, and the virtual world blur, the Supernova Rangers must navigate the treacherous landscape of Spectrum Social, uncover its secrets, and expose the true nature of this digital threat. The stage is set. The battle for the hearts and minds of Angel Grove begins. Get ready for an electrifying episode of Power Rangers Supernova, Episode 3, Wired Warriors. Mm, my goodness, I love those 90s intros. So, <laughs> we find the scene sets on the moon, 
It has been a few weeks now since the Rangers defeated the Nicknacker, and we find Lord Zed and Rita Repulsa, Goldar, Scorpina, Finster, Babu, and Squat going about their daily routine, I suppose. Take it away. Ah! As uh, Lord Zed is trying to scout upon the on Angel Grove, and he sees that the denizens of Angel Grove are all looking down at their phones. Ah, what madness is this? Why are they creating? They're not looking up. They look at these insipid little devices and don't look where they're going. What could possibly have captured their, captured their, uh, their attention? Uh, it's called social media. Apparently they're all stuck looking at these little boxes. Social media? What? What could have possibly garnered such power over them that their insipid minds would fall to such stupidity? Apparently they're called cell phones, sir. It's quite an ingenious design, if I, could, if I must say so myself. It, it, it's designed to give you a little chemical boost of dopamine with every little action you do on this black rectangle. That's, why it, looks like a, that's why it looks like a chocolate bar. A chocolate bar? No, 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 don't eat it. How typical, everyone squabbling over particular things here, but not focused on the bigger picture. We should be trying to destroy the Power Rangers. Yes, that's right. Destroy the Power Rangers. But what if we were able to use this, this social media in order for them to, to drain their minds and ah, become even stupider than they are now? Just like you, Lord Zed? Silence! Ah, uh, I don't know how I put up with you. Ah, uh, you insignificant little... Oh, uh, if there is a way... That was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Another master what? plan in the making. I do hope this one actually works. It will work! Where is Babu? Yes, so, where is Babu? If you look, Babu is actually using his big bat claws and there's like this slightly bigger black box that they're just kind of looking down at not even paying attention to everyone you insignificant fool as uh lord's head goes to hit the basically tap babu what are you doing over there why are you not paying attention yourself oh I, 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 sorry lord zed i just just had this wonderful little device i was looking at sir i just uh... wait a minute Hand me that device, you insignificant fool. Yeah, yes, yes, great lord. Here, here. Just don't don't touch that button there. It Which wipe button? The this? No, 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 that will erase the entire network. No. Mm, what if I want to erase the entire network? Hmm? Give because me a reason why. You because you, 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 you could just, you know, take over Angel Grove. Look at those numbers. Uh, lord take Zed, over Angel wisdom. Grove? Y yes. Yes, that's right. Take over Angel Grove with all of the ideas in the minds of Angel Grove, especially those insipid little Power Rangers, if they would be on this social media. Yes. So, uh, the... GM question real quick. Does Lord Zed actually know what he's looking at? No. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> okay, b back into the scene. <laughs> Perhaps instead of unleashing a monster, um... Uh, onto the physical plane, maybe we can unleash some sort of digital monster to be exist in everybody's phones via this network. Wait, I think they're called viruses? Or influencers. Is that what you're talking about? Influencers. Oh, oh well, they're kind of <laughs> like viruses, don't you think? I think so. I think so. They call them influencers down there. Yeah, you can't get rid of them. They just, no, uh, no. so annoying. Do they keep multiplying? Exactly. Yes. yes. Quite frequently. And Lord Excellent. Zed. Excellent. Lord Zed's gonna toss Babu back to the device. Take oh, care oh, of this, you. Oh, oh, oh. And he catches it. And so, do not fail us again. Right. I. Yes. <laughs> uh, Rita's gonna take the phone. Oh no. G give me this, Finster. Make me a monster out of this. Yes, my queen. Oh, please be careful. It's out of warranty. Oh, I'll, 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 I'll like, shoo you away. Oh, I know more oh, than you. Oh, no. Oh. 
and I uh, I I plug away at designing a uh, uh, a a monster that will capture the hearts and minds of anyone on uh on Spectrum Social, the new hot social media network on uh at Angel Grove. Yes. Uh, so Finster, I think, would have enough tech savvy, uh, being very creative with the monstermatic and all that. And Finster would realize that somehow Babu took a night course on programming and created an entire social media network from scratch. I, I take I take full responsibility. <laughs> take all the credit. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Poor Babu. <laughs> just went to overnight classes at angel grove community college i did it online <laughs> just because the rest of the villain team has been ignoring them you can't make me feel bad about this dan no 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 i'm not i'm just i'm just painting the, I'm just painting the scene the squat has GCC, left babu alone go. yes just the only place babu could find you know the skill sets <laughs> was that really and, really working that fafsa really, like yes that FAFSA money. <laughs> <laughs> so as finster's looking at this he notices that the device actually has been mm -hmm. like kind of cobbled together a little bit from like a old macbook pro and a linux running system for whatever reason and something specially called villain os for the mm. spectrum social uh <laughs> network <clears throat> and you notice kind of running across one of the like banners above it says unlock the power of connection with spectrum social and there's going to be a lot of these all throughout the night folks prepare yourself i've yes. got a whole bunch of spectrum social taglines <laughs> so as you take the device babu's just kind of over there looking like uh, a little bit uh scared so you use the device what does it look like as finster puts this monster together Sorry, what was that? You cut oh, out for. Oh yeah, sorry. What does it look like as Finster puts this monster together? Um, I think, at at, it's it doesn't really look like anything um that Finster does. It's just Finster faking it, and like everyone is in the room doing their own thing. He's like, oh yes, uh, I'll have to do this. I'll have to make sure that it's it, it has it has this many followers and it. And, and and but like looking around like he's not actually doing anything just make it if someone looks at him he's like then then he looks back down at the screen and pretends like he's doing stuff he's not doing anything because babu <laughs> has done all of it already he's just faking it so what do you when you say followers rita kind of looks over and goes it's diva talks on there uh uh I... no <laughs> good i'll be the first reigning queen on there Woo. You reign supreme. Of course, my queen. <laughs> Hurry up. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll, 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 and then at that, I'm like, I'll press a button, hoping that it doesn't just destroy everything. <laughs> okay. And then it, and then it works. And it's just like, <sighs> <laughs> okay. There you go. So, uh, is this, um, do you put the device through the monster matic? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm like, yes, I will call him. The Lunar Lichen Subscribe. <laughs> so, <laughs> on the nose, uh, I love puns. So, as the device goes through, it kind of um, chugs away, making all of its monster noises. I'm not going to imitate those. I tried to do that the last episode. Completely destroyed my throat. So, <laughs> bells and whistles and shrieks and screams, I guess. And a whole bunch of smoke just blasts down as this rather normal looking uh, humanoid pops out that looks like they've got a little, uh, what's the word I want to use here? Oh yeah, yeah, tank top, that's the word I want to use. A little tank top on, a tie that's hanging down, kind of half undone a little bit. They've got some cargo shorts on and just like, yo. Um, I know he looks just like a dude, but <laughs> Luna Lycan, you possess great influence. Oh, yeah, totally, bro. So, um, bro? Yeah, yeah, bro, dudette, whatever you want to be called, like, 
this what's your scene man uh, it's just like you're kind of like harshing the vibe a little bit um that's I, I, not gonna fly on spectrum social like you need to like get your stuff together a little bit I, I, clean up I, the I, act you're, you're like the style you have going on right now is so like ten thousand years ago i think we need to have a makeover my, my queen my lord um lunar lichen just requires a mission requires a mission <laughs> Yeah, I feel Destroy like I know the this space with Rangers. nonsense. Oh, no. Destroy that's... the Power Rangers. See, the thing with that is it's got to be stylish when we're doing that. It can't be just, like, instantaneous. We're going to have to take, like, some time with this plan. Like, you just, you don't understand influencer life, okay? It is hard, all right? You have to perform <laughs> daily producing content at an unreasonable level. The stress <laughs> of trying to destroy the Power Rangers is not going to happen overnight. I, I need my candles. I need my candles. I need my candles. Where are my candles? I take my scepter and, like, you can start seeing the lightning coming out of the scepter. I don't like this one. <laughs> well, he's about to die. Monster. Better be more useful than its creators. And Lord Zed is in the back holding his head. I don't understand any of this social media. So in the background, Babu kind of reaches over and slowly cracks open a window. And some moonlight from outside actually flashes onto uh, the left side of the lunar like and subscribe. And their arm kind of like bursts up with like basically becomes werewolf-like and kind of like this digital energy is kind of scrolling off of it a little bit. And you actually see tattooed on the side of its arm, like the at lunar like and subscribe <laughs> handle. And below it, you actually see a slow number count of it as it starts to get um, followers to its new account on Spectrum Social. As that goes up, you kind of see the arm twitch a little bit and increase in muscle mass, basically. So you can intuit that the more followers it has, the stronger it gets. Lycan, you need to go down there and get more followers. Oh, that's that's quite easy. I, uh, you know, <laughs> I've got this great new product I think everyone needs to try out. So how do you feel about hair care, right? So I've got a great product for that, especially with my ah, arm. Ah, you're giving me out. a headache. Just oh, do gonna it. Reach for it. <laughs> you heard her you heard her get down there and take over social media yeah that shouldn't be doing too bad with a good looking guy like me bye and uh they just like in a flash of like digital moonlight they <laughs> blast into uh, babu's uh little digital device and it clatters to the ground as they go into the digital world a spectrum social I'm going to go touch grass. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I Thank you for the love uh, chat for this horrible villain that has been created. <laughs> uh, dang, a broats... Bronster, a broadster, bronster, a monster. That's a bro and monster. Yeah, this is yeah. Prepare. This is going to be wildly horrific tonight, a um, for several reasons. <laughs> so, uh, the lunar like and subscribe disappears into the digital world of Spectrum Social, and we realize that this monster was created about a month prior to Spectrum Social really, really taking off. There were just a few users. They bad guys realized, you know what? We're just going to let this fester here a little bit. Maybe we can call on it. And now it's coming up close to that. And we sh seen shift. Spectrum Social is now the hot new social media network in Angel Grove. We find ourselves in the uh, nighttime as, well, late afternoon, nighttime, as we zero in on Ernie's bar. 
is owned by Sky, our resident Black Ranger. It has been set up that Spectrum Social is trying to gain more popularity by doing live streams of different hot locales around Angel Grove to not only highlight businesses, but hot spots and side hustles and interesting date spots is one of the things. So CC was approached by a representative of Spectrum Social, we all know who what that was considering the intro we just had, to shoot for a promotion of their business. So this is where we start ourselves. But first, Sky, how has Ernie's Bar been decorated for the uh, shoot of CC's speed dating business? Like, what are the decorations? What's the vibe? Um, uh, me, Sky, Dantara... I hate it. They sent over a bunch, like, like all the media packages and everything and like put up all of these like plastic signs over, you know, um, essential, you know, uh, other uh, like markers and stuff. Like there's a restroom sign. It just pfft, spectrum social, like, uh, it, it spectrum social. I'm, I'm, I'm going to guess is like blue and white in color, you know, just a nice safe blue, like every yes. other social media site out there. Yeah. Um, yes. And lots of lots of like s s or s soch um different all hashtags the all over and the place balloons like all over the floor they're not filled with helium they're just out on the floor um streamers outside they've got like uh like their their wolf mascot doing uh doing like a thumbs up on a on a cardboard cutout welcoming people in and uh i'm just in the corner just seething like they took down all of the signs. They took down my knickknacks. They took down all the trophies and stuff from from the from the high school and all the you know all the all the stuff that the that the college has brought in. Like it's just I'm seething. I'm kind of mad at all of this. I'm so, old school like that. That's awesome. So there's actually they have a mascot that's actually going around that looks like the uh, werewolf mascot that they've got, and there's actually it's carrying like an old school longboard. That's they thought it would be cool if they took a surfboard but attached skateboard wheels to the side of it because that's combining two things that are okay, that, cool, right? Because cool, you know they're, they're they're totally in touch with the reality and all that, and they've decided that the theme they're promoting tonight is experience the full spectrum of social interaction is the theme for the night. <laughs> so <laughs> it is just completely undone up up done with their spectrum social stuff everywhere. So, uh, yeah, so the CC's brought in Rowan to run tech because CC only trusts Rowan for this. And the special highlight of the live stream of the evening is that they are going to show a date between Aaron and Nicole and Derek and CC. And Rowan and Sky are going to be in the background just kind of hoping to keep things running. So uh, take it away, Ranchers. Oh my god, this decoration is so perfect. Rowan, do you have everything set up? Yes, I was able to take care of it about 30 minutes ago. But uh, there was some difficulties with some of the decoration to make sure all the cameras was in the right place. But I think we got it under control. Right. Okay, so it's fine. <laughs> yes, indeed. It is fine. Great. It Sky? Is not. Mm -mm, Sky? That's not fine. Sky? Nope. What, what? What's not fine? The, these tables are like the, the tables have art on them for a reason and you're covering it up with this pale blue it doesn't match anything it does there's nothing about this that has it's any soul. promotional i know and i, I it, it, yes blue. it's with promotional no, 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 nothing wrong with blue it's <laughs> what it's this shade of blue okay just uh the only reason why i'm doing this you see is to promote your site not not whatever spectrum social is i appreciate it sky thank you very much um okay but we have to have everything perfect for when aaron and nicole show up so drinks do we have drinks they're gonna need lots of it they're really awkward we always have drinks and so we're, we're at a bar is this okay. like a, a play or a skit where they're playing roles or are they actually on um uh, a date a little, so they're a little this little they're, that they're on a date have you you've seen reality tv show right like where like no that poisons your brain <laughs> okay 
fine. So it is not scripted, but we put people in a situation and see how they react. Are they aware that they're going to be on a date? Well, yes, they signed a contract. Did you see them read the contract? Uh, no, yeah, no, no. I, I understand. Oh, they'll be fine. I think they'll, they'll be okay. Whatever happens, happens. We're just going to be here to support them as we are supporting CZ. I see. I, I ask because I was hoping I could be able to record this for quality purposes uh, for, for studying cases in the future. This is not some insurance company. We don't need to record things like that. Well, Saban I mean, yeah. speaks up. Rowan has asked me to reiterate that they need this recorded for quality control. Saban, I'm not talking to you right now. Too bad. <laughs> if anything, Do you remember what happened last time? Yes, and that is why I erased that algorithm so I can continue to talk to you. No more Hawaiian <laughs> shirts. But they're the style that are hip and cool. Like, no, it is not hip and cool. Look over at that werewolf, and you look over at the werewolf mascot, and you can see that they've actually now donned a Hawaiian no. shirt. No. I will not have Hawaiian shirts on my set. Get rid of them. Eric's going to come in from um, the pantry, and he seems to be, like, tinkering with uh, his, his communicator. So he looks up at Rowan and says, my guy, make sure when you fill out that uh, the agreement that you own everything you record in perpetuity. Oh, well. Derek? Thank you. Hey, bro. I didn't really consider it. That is more for helping to talk. I, you know, I've never really been on a date before, so I wanted to study and see how it works. Fine. Fine. If you want to add in the clause that you have the full ability to use it however you decide for marketing purposes, that could also be useful. And he just sits down next to Caesar. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, and I'll, I'll pull Rowan aside and go, if you wanted something to study, watch these two. Because this, I think what's going on here is a little bit more interesting than what you might be able to find in any recording between Aaron is, and... Are they, are they on a date? Oh, it's, that's the thing. No. Not necessarily, not a no. Bro, it scratches their chin. It's interesting, it. right? <laughs> Intriguing, right? There you go. Now watch. Okay. So Derek leans and just like elbows CC just casually. So you excited for tonight? You're going to see what happens between these two? They get the uh, this high school phase? Yeah, I'm really excited. It's an experiment of mine. See, I've been unhappy in, in my love life. Um, that's a whole other story we can get into later. Fuck, matchmaking is so much fun, especially when they're super awkward like Aaron and Nicole. So I'm trying to see if they the awkwardness cancels out with each other and makes it romance. Um, whenever someone's passionate about something, it's pretty hot. Yeah? He looks at his communicator again. And CC blushes really hard. <laughs> Uh, okay. Um. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you excited for tonight? Like, we also have to shoot stuff too. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Whatever you need me to do. I. Uh, sure. You don't sound excited. I'm excited. I'm. I'm. I'm not. Not excited. Okay. Fine. Fine. Put a different shirt on, though. Not that shirt. I look at. Look at sky. Shirts. <laughs> and at this point, not, not if you're wearing one. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got a perfectly um, good shirt right there. One of the <sighs> uh, film crew comes over, and you see there's like different wardrobes, and one of them starts to eyeball Derek up and down, and just kind of does a this whole green thing. That's kind of your vibe, yeah. So I'm told. I'm with my best color. Cool. Do you mind if I like do something to enhance your um what do I wanted to use? Personality. 
Uh, I look at CC. Uh, whatever they to decide. Wardrobe, wardrobe does wardrobe stuff. Just go with it. Perfect. <laughs> so they turn around and snap their fingers, and uh, what looks like a teen intern who is not paid, by the way, that should be said. Yeah, it's, it's not a paid in paid teen intern comes over. Yes, sir. <laughs> go get the special shirt. Okay, sir. And they go uh, running off. And then they come back. And uh, it is a really harsh, mellow yellow green Hawaiian shirt. It no! is. <laughs> you've already no. given your permission to whatever they wanted to do. How Now, okay, here's what I will allow. <laughs> you may make a roll <laughs> on your social. To see if you, can, if you can convince them not to use this really bad mellow yellow green Hawaiian shirt. I have, have a, really good persuasion. Yeah, so does this person, your this fashion consultant. Yeah. 16, 30, 30, 30, 30, 21. 21, okay. Hmm. Let me check something real quick on my stats here. Do, 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 do. Talk amongst yourselves. Beep, beep, boop, boop. boop. So Rowan shows their their notebook towards Sky, and the mm -hmm. first note that says is "passion is sexy," and the second note is "wear clothes that the partner hates." Yeah, you pretty much got it. yeah, yeah. It's pretty astute. Okay, so yeah, you barely won, but yeah, you managed to show me how this looks as they're hauling over this little rap scallion. Brings over this mellow yellow, like green shirt. How does CC? Yeah, react? like before Derek even sees it, she like runs over and she goes, No. <laughs> and like literally grabs the shirt out of the hands and like bundles it and goes, Nobody should ever see something so hideous. And like walks away. My dad made that. <sighs> I turn around and go, It's not good. Let's work on it. Oh, okay. Um, if he'd ever come back from the store when he went for that carton of cigarettes. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, do this, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and then you notice that the, the little rapscallion smirks a little bit to see if he's getting a reaction. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Here, you can put it on, though. Oh, sweet. I've been wanting to. So he just grabs it and slams it on. All right. I'm going to get so many hot fly honeys with this. I'm just, I quit this job. I'm out of here. <laughs> he, he just see them run away. Dude, nice shirt. Thanks. Like, Cece turns around at Derek. Seriously? <laughs> All right, this is fine. Just, this is fine. It's, it's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Where is Nicole and Aaron? So we'll f scene flash to them. Okay, so I have a question for Aaron and Nicole. Would you have driven to Ernie's bar together or separately? Okay, um, I think this is a, a a roll of the dice. This is a roll of the dice. Okay. So okay. What, we using, what are we using? D four. We're gonna Ooh. use a D four, and here's the thing. If we both end, uh, okay. If we both end on an odd, okay. If we both end on either <laughs> an odd or if okay. So here's how we'll do this: if the number we end on is odd, both of us, then we drove together because that's pretty oh, odd. Okay. But if it's even, that's if we end, <laughs> yeah. If it's even if, odds, you would not. If it's the same number, you both arrive together, but one of you waited in the car for an extra five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll explain. I'll, I'll, I'll explain my okay. method of madness. Just roll. Yes. Uh, oh, so we, ah, separate. We, did, separate. we did drive separately. Okay. Okay. So, follow up question Did you arrive in the parking lot at the same time or at different <laughs> times? One more time. One more time. <laughs> Even. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Damn it. Let me set up an awkward scene. Jeez. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. Oh my god. So, um, Andrew, go ahead and explain your method of madness there. The, uh, the method was whether it, it was basically just would uh, would we would we arrive together, and it was it was just all math. But I have a feeling that uh, Aaron has is completely like he's always punctual because football. You're supposed you're 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 late if you're on time, and you're on time if you're five minutes early. So he definitely got there early and. and He's getting he's getting to the bar like okay so um and he's making sure his shirt is okay like oh gosh um gosh I haven't worn this in a while uh and we're gonna walk in and cool. uh Nicole real quick roll me a d six and tell me the number four okay cool <laughs> I will get to oh, that geez. in a second uh okay that was for something that's going to happen to Aaron. Uh, okay, Aaron, uh, you walk into Ernie's bar, mm. and everyone there knows your name, like a popular bar elsewhere, <laughs> and uh, you see Sky and Rowan off to one side just kind of chatting, and you see Cece and Derek just kind of chatting, and it's kind of what the scene looks like so far, and you see all this Spectrum Social staff kind of running around. Sky's staff is there, but they've kind of been pushed to the side a little bit uh, by the Spectrum Social staff because, you know, they're not professionals like Spectrum Social. The key way to your heart. Uh, as they <laughs> get ready for the live stream tonight. Uh, Aaron's going to go over to, to Sky uh, and just... Uh, you're okay with all this? No. <laughs> did you, wait, you're not... Did you not say... Wait, you let him, but you let him do it. I I'm doing this to help out CC. Okay, that's for for the for the speed dating. But I don't even have the app. You, like I, I Dude, I'm more yeah. of a yeah, I'm more, yeah, old school guy. Right, like just, just talk. A little bit. I, I don't know. This whole social media thing is really weird. Like, I mean, yeah, I mean, I I guess I made I, I okay, I made the app. Let's be real. Like, why not? Right and. Um, uh, but I, I do. I don't know what I'm doing here. I, I feel really stupid right now. Let's let's be real. Well, it's, why? Why? Okay. It's, it's just Nicole. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, like, it's it's. Look. I, I mean, I, I, yeah. I, I was. Oh, it's not just Nicole though. Uh, come on, man. Like, <laughs> I, I'm already under a lot of pressure. Look, it's it's been pretty lonely here. I'm, like, I'm not saying anything. I, I just... Uh, um, You're uh, very different from Derek. Yeah, I, I obviously, I, I just... Uh, look, I... I and, uh, look, okay, Rowan, let me tell you what's going to happen with, with uh, Aaron here. Aaron's going to be all nervous. Nicole's going to come in. Then the nerves are going to go away once they start talking to each other. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly. It's what's gonna, gonna happen. happen. It happens every time. Yeah, yeah. Um, hey, thanks for the vote of confidence. I'm gonna go uh, ask CC where I need to be now. Uh, Here, and I, and I I give you a half pint of a of some sort of refreshment. You, you can are, decide what it is. You are my mother loving hero right now, dude. Ah. So, uh, real quick, I would like Rowan to roll me a d6. Three. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Aaron, I have a very important question for you. Yes. Did you have a high school sweetheart? Uh, no, I wasn't popular enough, even though I was on the football team. Okay. Did you date in college? Uh, no, I went to community college, and uh, no, just couldn't do it. Okay. You're asking? Are you answering as Aaron or Andrew? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we all. Wait, put a I have one question for Aaron. Do you have hair or are you bald? I'm bald. Great. That's what I needed to know. What? Cece comes, <laughs> Cece comes running over. Makeup. He is so shiny. It's ridiculous. You can see the moon on his head. Let's go. What? So, wait, wait, wait. What? You can see the. Yeah. You're too. Sh you're too shiny. Let's go. Come on. Makeup. I'm too shiny. <laughs> so, uh, it, with the um. <laughs> Damn. I, I should not be laughing about this, but here we be. So the uh, fashion consultant looks over and just like kind of does this a little bit with all the light that's blasting <laughs> off 
of the bald head. Hey, I joke because I am also that way. <laughs> so we, we got to stick together. So yeah. they look down around a little bit and says, oh, that will work. They reach down and they pull up the most gaudy looking yacht hat in existence with little sparkles and it's like lights are shining off of it. But it's not as shiny as what's on your head, they say, as they approach and put it down there. And it has a little S for Spectrum Social on it. <laughs> that's also a no. That, that's a no. That's a no. You can't keep saying no to my fashion sense. We have to push the merch. We'll put it on the table. Fine. Centerpiece. I'll wear it. Fine. <laughs> he'll wear it. Yeah, he'll wear it. <laughs> Derek's all swagged out. <laughs> Derek's going to throw it on and just approaches Aaron. He's like, listen, man, we can, uh, you know, I, 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 I really like how we've become friends more and more these last couple weeks. And uh, listen, when, when Nicole gets here and I hand him a shot, it's just, you know, just lean in. And then ask her if she wants to go steady. You'll be fine. Worst case scenario, she says no. Okay, so Aaron's gonna have one. Why would you study books? <laughs> oh lord, Aaron's gonna take the shot. Wait, go. St- I'm not in high school anymore, man. Like, do people still do that? Do they say? Do they even say go steady? If she laughs, then you know that it's probably gonna work. It's not a bad idea. I don't know if that's. <laughs> and I don't you can blame me. Blame me. It'd be funny. No. Oh, all right, all right, yeah. We're definitely blaming you. Jeez. Uh, okay. So apparently I'm too shiny. I have to say, say go steady. And okay. Uh, God. Anything else? Um, you want to get? You guys gonna throw anything else at me at this point? Oh, well, I feel Take like the hat the... off and I put it on him. Perfect. <laughs> I feel like this. <laughs> Nicole walks in. <laughs> All right, so before we get to Nicole entering, this is what the, I needed the role from um, uh, from the, uh, Brianna for this, was Ethan Baker walks in and is fully decked out in Spectrum Social merch, and there's like orange and blue playing off of each other, and he spots uh, Aaron. You! Uh, Come here. Yes, Principal Baker, <laughs> as Aaron goes over. So I made a special deal, and because you work for me, I don't have to pay you more than this outside of school. You're going to need to wear this. And he what? hands him a jacket. Wait, what? what Put it what? on. Uh, uh, okay, I'm... Yeah, so we're... we're... I, I'm funding a lot of what's going on here tonight, <laughs> so you're going to have to agree to this. And as Aaron puts on this bright orange jacket, it see, says on the back of it, Ethan Baker's Cool Cheeto Club. Uh, he's pushing this new thing at school and around town. He just really loves Cheetos. And this is an opportunity to promote his own side hustle with Cheeto Lovin'. You look fantastic. And might I add that hat? Brilliant. I never told you that I owned a yacht. We should check that out one weekend if you're interested. Yeah. Yeah. A uh, uh, yacht and uh, the, the oranges. Okay. All right. I'm, uh, Cece, where, where do I sit now? I oh, think I'm uh, ready. Hey, hang on a second. He leans forward and does that to the shoulders as a whole bunch of Shido dust blasts off <laughs> oh. the back of it a little bit. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little hungry on the way and might have used that as a napkin. Uh, You're good. Okay. Gotta go sit down now. Okay. Bye-bye. And now, (laughs) enter Nicole. Okay, my question is this. Um, In in this scenario, when she walks in, because she's kind of like rushing in because she is running behind... um, which she is is not usually what she tries to do. She tries to be prompt, but uh, a meeting went too long. Are there cameras that are visible? Oh yeah. Oh that yeah. Oh. she sees. Yes. Oh my goodness. Yes. 
Okay, they're, they're she's quite, she, okay. They're quite okay. Like like basically like once like once she would look around. I just wanted to set the stage uh, for probably oh, her response. Yeah, right. and there's actually Fantastic. a dude there at the front just recording as you enter. Uh, well, I can't believe I just did the old school. I was gonna over. say like, <laughs> wow. <With> what? <laughs> <laughs> well, we did say you know, going steady. Yeah, going steady. Yeah, yeah going steady. <laughs> yeah, go <on> steady. <laughs> <Yeah. go on. laughs> the moving pictures. Yeah. You know, yeah, this um, is what the kids call a talk. The movers. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So um, I, I feel like at this point, um, everybody's kind of like doing their thing. He is the Cheeto jacket, but she comes in um, and uh, she she instantly kind of turns first to 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 go to the bar where uh, Sky is. If Sky is Sky behind the bar. Yes, I am talking okay. to one of the aides, and you're like, "Yeah, no, I don't even have the app. I prefer more like person person." Hey, Sky. Yeah, I own the bar. Oh, hey Nicole. Hey, um, did Aaron get here already? I'm, uh, I can't believe I'm behind at this. I'm at surprised meeting. you haven't oh seen him. Oh. Yeah, what kinda... is what is <laughs> what is going on? Did you read? <laughs> Did you get like sponsorship for the bar? Or, like, <laughs> the, the, the the decorations branding, are not or? mine, but this is funny. As I'm pointing at the uh, at the uh, at the preview screen with the orange highlighter in the middle of it. Oh, <laughs> wait, wait! Yeah. And she turns around and she does like that kind of like whip, like, <laughs> oh no 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 no, <laughs> Cece! I, I will I will put a glass in your hand as you turn around. She she shoots it she shoots it back and then slams it on the ground. Cece, get over here! Right now. Yeah, what? I, I, yeah, well, yeah, what? You did what? What is this? I um. So I kind of signed up on the social media thing, and then they contacted me because they said that I was an influencer because of my speed dating stuff. And uh um, makeup. Wait, what? <laughs> no, 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 no! Look me in the eye. I you told me. Hey, you know, they, since things seem to, you know, have, have gone well with you and Aaron, it's just, you just do this date thing. It's just like, you know, for my business and you can just say how it is and like fill out a survey later. You did not say anything about cameras and makeup people. And why is he wearing that hideous orange jacket? <laughs> um, That's totally not, what? Yeah, I, didn't, I, I, don't, I, I don't know that, what's that, going that on. Was, I'm so that confused. That wasn't me. That wasn't me. Yeah, I figured as much. So that's weird. I'm surprised you allow that on your set. You would never that's do that. That's because Principal was here and he's funding a lot of this. So. Do you know what? I'm getting really tired of this. Like, Principal Baker thinks that he runs half of Angel Grove, which he does not. I mean, yeah. it's a kind of a laughing stock, to be honest, it kinda, around town. It kind of is. It was this whole Cheeto thing, it's kind of ridiculous. However, comma, yeah. you're late. I need to get you in makeup. I am. No, but no, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. You know how I am. Like, I I can deal with cameras and 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 photographs. It's, you know, at a tournament that is different. Um, even for like when we had advertisements, and we did a little short stint on TV as far as commercials to advertise for the gym to try to get you know more memberships and whatnot. But this is different. This is like, I I don't want people seeing me date and 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 our private conversations like i don't do the reality show like the housewives of angel grove i am so not one of those date? girls but you can Eric's be gonna... well i mean Eric's yeah it's in. a date but i mean nicole nicole just breathe you're gonna be all right everything's gonna be fine are you gonna be fine cameras don't even worry about them they're not Wait, here we're here to... you too and she points yeah. at the hat <laughs> you wear the hat <laughs> no i put i, I put it on aaron I, oh, okay. What, <laughs> do you have the you have something on though, right, with the logo, or no? Uh, did you not? I have my phone not? that has the app, that oh, has God. the app. I'm all about it. You too. too? You uh, you got you roped know. into the oh gosh, like did everyone know but me? Wait, did everyone get the memo and I just was left out? Like see, I sent you, you an email. Nicole. I also sent you an email. No one told me about the bar. Oh crap! I didn't open it. He's got it all. I got distracted. Control. Uh, listen, this uh, managerial meeting, uh, yeah, I was training my new managers and uh, the assistant manager. I, oh my God, this kid is going to give me a headache because they 
really wanted to try to go up on the ladder, but they also too don't know what they're doing half the time, but they are really sweet and people seem to like them. So, I mean, I guess it's okay, but I don't know if it's going to work out, but I'm, I'm kind of freaking out because I don't really have anybody else lined up for the position. So maybe you yeah. should ask Aaron oh. on your date. <laughs> Yeah, just focus on that. Let all that other stuff go. Just relax. Okay. Let that drink hit. Okay. You have a date with the most handsome traffic cone in here. It's gonna be excellent. <laughs> uh, I, I will tell the handsome traffic cone to take off the thing that's making him look like a traffic cone. Nope, not Especially gonna happen. Uh, who are you? I'm the principal. Don't you recognize me in my great suit? And it's just oh, gosh. orange. Baker. What? Come here. No, I'm scared Come of you. Come here. No. <laughs> Come here right now. Ah, no. And you see him just kind of like. Listen, to I will away. revoke your membership to our gym if you don't come. I right paid here, for the next two right years. now. <laughs> I will refund all that money. We I don't need that. Nicole, bad. Nicole, Nicole, Nicole. It's okay. fine. Okay. He's a beautiful right. traffic cone. It is okay. going to be okay. We I just, just don't need like to that. He's a bully. Like, uh, uh, <sighs> inhale. Inhala, exhala. You know how I feel about bullies. <sighs> I know. And at this Are point, dates you... like this? Uh, the good ones. Oh. The fun okay. ones. You owe me big time for doing this for you. This is so embarrassing. Yeah, I do. <sighs> I know. I'm sorry. And then... uh, if it makes you feel better, I got to do it too. Okay. It does. All right. Okay. So Great. at this point, someone comes up to Sky and whispers in their ear. Sir, where do you want to put us, where do you want us to put the bleachers? Ooh. W anywhere there's good view. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, guys, uh Ma over over there maybe, uh, not blocking the bar. Uh Sky, could you help us place these, please? Yeah, um we got to make sure that we are outside of the splash zone. Just Oh, perfect. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so we'll put them so as you watch there's about This is my lifting motion. <laughs> Over this way, <laughs> lift. <laughs> so, um, a group of like six or seven um, big beefy movers of proportional size, I suppose. I don't know why that is a sentence I've said, but here we be. <laughs> are hauling in these bleachers and they start to set them up uh, and they go up about uh, three or four rows and line them up. And then who wants to give me a awareness check or an alertness check? I'll, okay. Who has the highest alertness? Big blue. Big I blue. Give me a have roll. Have a D8. All right. Perfect. Wow. Uh, natural 20 plus Ooh, five okay. for 25. Perfect. Okay. So, okay. This is, so I'm, I'm going to give you two things because of this. Um, Rowan, you notice, what does your tech setup look like for Ernie's Barb to help inner, uh, what's the word? What, your, what does your tech synergy look like with Spectrum Social? So, um, Roy would have talked to Sky to make sure their tech room was nicely isolated from everyone else because they don't want any one of those uh, spectral individuals passing their germs over to their technology. <laughs> so and it's within their room, it would have like about three or four monitors placed against the wall. It's very cool, almost like a server room. There's like little LED lights of blue just to be able to light in the area. Um, there's flat screens and also uh, um, screens that comes up almost like projections per se. And almost things looks to be almost automated. It's not like you don't even see that many keyboards. It actually looks like it's uh, processes running in the background that's taking care of most of the, of, uh, the technology being run. Saban's doing a lot of the heavy lifting. So, okay. So this is what I'll get. So I think we determined um, symbolically and for image purposes, Saban just looks like a lightning bolt striking something. Mm -hmm. So on your screen, you see a little lightning bolt kind of just Think of it like Clippy, almost. Just, would you Microsoft like... Microsoft Word? <laughs> yes, exactly. I mean, we could even go a deeper cut from Microsoft Bob, but that might just be over some folks' heads. Maybe, nope, nope, you all recognize that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> a deep cut. <laughs> Most of you got that. Maybe not. <laughs> Anywho, uh, I'm old. Uh, so you see this <laughs> little lightning bolt kind of dancing around, and you see a little... For lack of a better thing, what looks like a digital version 
of the head of Spectrum Social, the uh, bro known as Lucan, uh, is there kind of just on the screen dancing around the Thunderbolt a little bit. You also notice on your monitor that there is a line queue that has formed outside of Ernie's bar as if it is a live studio audience that is going to watch the dates unfold. So, uh, Sabaz, do we have like air communication by chance? I think. Oh, do, yeah, right? yeah, 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 oh, yeah. You've got, yeah. yeah. So, Roland will speak uh, an air communication disguise says, Are we planning on turning this to the prices right? Because there's people outside. Yeah, it's weird that they had me set up bleachers. It's like the mayor's going to be here or something. Mm, that is. Okay. Was this planned? I don't know. We'd have to ask either CC or one of the um, the production leads. Oh no! Um, it seems like there's definitely some conflict there. I'll go straight to CC. <laughs> um, and I'll switch over to CC. Be like, uh, CC, are you aware of people joining? Oh, us? what? What people? Mm -hmm. This was this was supposed to just be streamed. Like this wasn't like a live. Who? Where's the producer? So you see a, let's see here. Let's pick a random NPC. <laughs> That'd be w you know what? Why the heck not? So over there, kind of arms kicked back, uh, feet kicked back up on a bar stool. Like they're just kind of hanging out. You've got... Yeah, you've got, oh, that is way too on the nose for that character, so we'll save that because that's my own personal name. We're not going to use in this because I don't want to be an antagonist. Uh, we will go with, yeah, uh, Jonathan Chen, the owner of the local tech store, Cybertech Solutions, just kind of hanging out there and just kind of has been chosen as the director by Spectrum Social. It's a, they recently hired him on and he, CC approaches him and, he just kind of flips up his glasses a little bit to get them more centered and says, yes, what, what is this? Why do we have a live audience? We did not agree to this. Yes, you did. You signed the contract for it. This was not in the contract. It was. It was under the subsection 45. We may change whatever we want to enhance the Who production. reads 45 sections of a contract? Smart people. Anyway... You did sign and agree to this, and we thought it would be a good opportunity to show some of the wonderful Spectrum Social enhancements you can do by experiencing a social interaction, not only by participating in live streams in person. I think they used to call that like a live studio audience back in the day with the TV shows, but I think this is going to be great. Writings are going to be through the roof. You don't look pleased. Fine, but we're scrapping the nasty hats. No, the hats are also part of that subsection. 25. No. <laughs> oh my god. Who reads that many pages of a contract? <laughs> I saw a guy over there raise his hand when you spoke up. Who? That that guy you're supposed <laughs> to be dating. Eric yeah, just looks down at his communicator. <laughs> 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 So, go ahead. No, Roy turns off their communicator says, I would read all the sections in the contract. And then, and then press the button back one. <laughs> so, uh, GM question, which rangers would actually read all of a contract? We've got Derek and we got Rowan. Nope, everyone else, nope. No, it's Sky would too, okay. Nicole would <laughs> normally, but because she thought that it was just like, the previous thing with uh cc she didn't really like give it any thought so technically she didn't sign it because she didn't even open the email so <laughs> there's that loophole just Ooh. putting it out there but did she but did nicole sign it no because she didn't open the email she just knew that it was like speed dating she's like ah, i'll show up like, <laughs> you're not gonna fine. leave cc into the lurch are you your besties no she did say that she was doing it for her but she basically She's not technically in that contractual agreement. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Technicality. It was established. I didn't open the email. I mm. said it at the beginning. Uh-huh. 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 Okay. True. That is true. 
<laughs> too, it's, it's too bad that I have access to a villain that has digital access to everything. All of the shame. That's uh-huh. fair. Anywho. That's fair. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> so, so the uh, bar doors open as you start Hero Crowd. Yeah, I'm Team Nicole and Aaron. Have we worked on their like couple name yet? Nah, I'm Cece and Derek. What would that be like? Sereric or something? I don't know. The C? And we'll go with the C. Rick C? Nah, I don't know. Wait, Rick Astley. There might be something there. I bet you he's never going to give her up. So no. the crowd's just talking back and forth as no. they kind of come in. And you see a couple of them with flags that say Team Aaron and Nicole and the other that says Team CC and Derek. And you How realize... How did they get our faces? <laughs> what? What is I'm so flabbergasted by all of this. Wait, did you did you tell them to make flags and like what no, is all of this? It was, it was supposed to be a small stream and it got carried away and I didn't read the comic. Did this track. become a sitcom? Yes. What? I didn't get any script. What is this? Reality TV? With an audience? I guess. That's why I thought I, I, I'm so confused. Me too, but you know what? You look beautiful, and all you got to do is say yes to everything. It's fine. Oh, my goodness. Again, you owe me big time for this. <laughs> I know, and I, but I whisper to her, but do you remember who saved your ass from uh, Scorpina? Yeah. Hey, we don't talk about mm. that. I had kicked her behind before, too. Let's not forget. <sighs> it's just I... that we're kind of even on the butt kicking between each okay. other. Yeah. All right. So there is now a trending hashtag in chat of hashtag free Hank. <laughs> <laughs> and walks on. And walks on. <laughs> All right, well, you guys are first up, so go sit down. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, oh, okay, and here the, we go. The <sighs> producer comes over. Yeah, we're going to actually be having your dates streamed both at the same time. Uh, we decided we're going to make this a little bit of a competition to see who's the better daters. What? Wait, what? Competitive so now dating? this became a reality competition dating yeah, show? Yeah, you see, us here at Spectrum Social decided we got to dip all of our fingers and everything real quick at once. Because the way tech industry works, we cannot exist in a month. So we've got to find what the new hot trending thing is. So... We're just throwing... Let me guess. They're going to be voting on, like, you know, the audience is going to be voting or something. They are now. Good idea. Hey, oh, guys, no! can no! we work up a buzzer system before we go? Oh. They just kind of try. Uh, I was being there. sarcastic. <sighs> oh, this could be great notes now. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> yep. This is why Sorry. I didn't download it in the first place. <laughs> okay. Let's just, let's just, let's just. Okay, I'm not gonna say anymore. Let's just get a. Guy, can I get another one of those? <laughs> yeah. Double, I'll, double I'll pull up. <laughs> <laughs> just the growler sample. They're all filled with with various liquids that I know you all enjoy. Your favorites. Okay. Uh, Roller <laughs> writes on a notebook. Derek appears unfazed. Derek's <laughs> loving this. He's just watching it. Just everyone just melting down. He's like. <laughs> posting yeah. waving to everybody <laughs> so all right so who has the spectrum social network actually installed oh well Derek for sure aaron did for for no reason nicole did not okay so for those of you that have spectrum social installed roll me a d20 please Crap. five okay. 14 15. That is a seven. Okay. So, so uh, again, so Derek got a five. Aaron got a seven. Cece got a 14. And Rowan got a what? 15. 15. Okay. So that is your current uh, trendingness on Spectrum Social right now. Yeah. Top five. Yeah. Yeah. Derek's number five. Aaron is ranking at a number seven. Cece's a 14. Rowan, oh. for some reason, is a 15. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is like reverse order. Oh, like no. One being better. Oh, oh, what? Wait, oh, I'm no. a 14? Wait, wait, say that? Say that one more time? So is basically, it... your dice rolls, the lower the number, the more popular you are on Spectrum Social. I'm yeah. on the front page. Yeah, this is that bad makes... guy rules. That's That makes sense. I yeah. mean, Rowan is concerned. It's like, how am I on this chart? I should not even be... <laughs> I'm and, not in the data seat. <laughs> Go ahead. And you see Saban kind of like, 
if a lightning bolt could look bashful but accomplished, they would. <laughs> That Saban actually created a social media page for Rowan on Spectrum Social to, like, just, you know, try that aspect of the human experience to get them more familiar with socializing in a different format. So, yeah, you got to put some restraints on Saban, man. Mm, I see. (laughs) (laughs) Tackle that AI. Yes. And whereas Derek has fully embraced being a up and coming influencer. Oh, actually, you know what? This would be heck as fun. So, for those of you that have Spectrum Social, I want you to freeze frame what your profile picture looks like. Oh, oh no. Yes. Oh. Oh, this yes. is Derek in the Green Ranger outfit without the helmet. Oh, okay. <laughs> cosplay, yes. Just like that. Amazing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Aaron's definitely got the, the photo of him coaching as, as his profile photo. Not your high school, like, yearbook photo of you, like, throwing the... <laughs> I'm not that bro. <laughs> I think Cece's picture, probably because she's ranked 14, you actually don't see how, like, cute she is. Because she's in a Lyra, like, actually, like, bent over backwards, like, showing mm. off her, like, Cirque abilities. There we go. Well, I did not know this entire episode was going to become social commentary on a social media network, but here we are. <laughs> you wrote this, man! <laughs> I know! I know! Fantastic. I'm horrible. Here we are. Okay. <laughs> i'm loving all the digs we're getting in all right so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna fast forward a little bit the audience has been set up banners have been created for team aaron and nicole and team cc and Derek. aaron nicole actually this is going to be thrown out to all the rangers what should their celebrity couple names be that the audience has come up with their aaron nicole and cc and Derek? You can use Sarek. first name's last name. Sarek? There we go. Sarek. Sarek. I'm such a fan of Free Hank. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, like yeah. I feel like no that, that makes sense. It's, I feel like that's so good that, uh, yeah. That, I love it. You know, yeah, it just works. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. So. <laughs> oh, God. I, yeah, I know. I'm horrible. The ma- <laughs> maniacal mm-hmm. laugh. Oh, mm-hmm. gosh. Yeah. Rowan. I need you to give me another alertness check. Okay. Oh, that's not as good. Uh, 12. Here's what I'm going to do for you. Because you rolled so well on the last one, go ahead and roll that with edge. So roll your d20 again. Oh, okay. Oh, much better. Uh, 18 plus 2. Uh, synthetic, synthetic 20. <laughs> okay. Perfect. So you notice that down on your screen that the Saban lightning bolt and the digitized mascot of the Spectrum Social have actually now combined. And it's become this big, hulking, like, looking werewolf-like thing. And I... We'll say that before I do this, um, Rangers that are not Rowan, go ahead and give me. Ha- so let me, before I call for this role, how involved in the current scene are you? Like, how distracted are you? Are you how focused or not focused are you? If I'm not directly engaging CC, I'm watching everything because. It's a circus to me. I'm about it. Okay, <laughs> perfect. We got that. Uh, how about CC? Um, she's pretty clued in. She's watching things. Okay, Aaron and Nicole. Um, I feel like um Nicole is so embarrassed that she's kind of like she's focused on Hank, on uh Aaron, just because she's just like I need to like I I need something to distract me. So she's actually focused on who's in front of her right you are now. You my true north. <laughs> she, she doesn't want to look at the spectacle because she's going light. to be so annoyed and she's going to get upset and so she's just trying to focus on the fact that okay just focus uh, do this <laughs> Aaron just got this phone and decided to install the app and he's still trying to figure out this phone and then all of a sudden the, the hashtag free Hank comes up what what, what, what? <laughs> the, hell is, the hell does this mean free what is, what is this trending stuff like Nicole do you, do you, do you get any of this 
I don't understand social media at all. Uh, CC's been trying to get me to like try to make one uh, a couple accounts for the gym um, because it's supposed to help business, which I probably should get on because it does actually help. But I just don't know any of the the algorithms and the the you know the likes and follow. Like it's just so ridiculous. Like I wish it was back in you know before like when we were younger we didn't have all that it was just it's just no, too we, much we, we totally didn't like look i just like, got I this show where people like why yeah. do i have to like take a selfie every time i eat something good you know like you know at a restaurant or, or you know or if i go to the beach or you know I, I i shouldn't have to take photos all the time and post with some quote i i, I don't know that many quotes at least Ser uh, memorized seriously i'm still trying to figure out this like what is this trend like free, free hang and there's a, a wait a, can i see so yeah yeah as uh, aaron hands over his phone it starts to vibrate and there is a literal picture of the two of you leaning close looking at each other that, that has just been posted under the, yeah. the Wait, hashtag what? free hank and you see someone what? in the audience giving you a thumbs up very very excited waving oh, a little God. flag <sighs> Would this person who's waving a flag be a student at Angel Grove? In fact, yes, it is. It is your <laughs> best football buddy who the is doing everything, calling oh, you sir no. on the last oh, I, I stop. believe in you, sir. Gotta... You deserve love. You can how do did, it. How did you even get in here? My dad yeah, I, got, I, here. I stopped serving alcohol just immediately. Like, <laughs> <laughs> as soon as the kids walk in, I was like, mm, nope. Oh. It is now a dry bar. <laughs> you got this sir i'm rooting for you oh, it's not goodness. too late for love you are running laps Wait, oh you have a ton of followers look at the you're like trending i think that's what they call it yeah so, i don't know this what is, this is. off the charts what, what i didn't so, i wasn't aware oh my gosh of the football team and the high school students are actually following aaron hank on social media mm. and they're all behind the free hank uh movement now because that's how fast social media moves with the youngins. Uh, okay. So Aaron and Nicole are completely distracted in this. CC Sky, Derek, give me a alertness roll with Edge. Nicole and Derek. Oh, Ed. Go ahead. Cool. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm not paying attention either. Okay. Yeah. Then Okay. So then Derek and CC, give me a roll at with Edge. Aaron, Nicole, and Sky, give me a roll with a snag. So basically, advantage, disadvantage, if you were considering this in D&D &D rules. 15. Okay. 21. Okay. 17. Okay. Nine. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Who got above an 18? Okay. So this is what I will give you. Actually, yes, this makes perfect sense. CC and Rowan... You kind of get a sense that something is off a little bit and almost the sense of deja vu as if you've felt something like this before. And with that, we're going to go to a quick break <laughs> as we get the scene set. So we are going to be gone for about 10, 15 minutes, get a snack, get some water and come back and finish up this amazingly romantically strange episode of Power Rangers Supernova. Get your stretches. We'll be back soon. Get ready for a romantically action-packed second half because, oh my goodness, the sparks of desire are flying. And we will <laughs> be back soon. <laughs> Thank you.
I love playing that so <laughs> intro so video good. game when we come back from break just to get us rehyped because I want to see that as much as I can. I should just have that on repeat in the background behind me. Anywho, welcome back to the second part of episode three of Power Ranger Supernova Wired Warriors. If you're just joining us, let me reset the scene. There is a hot new social media app taking over Angel Grove by storm called Spectrum Social. It has been created by the ever intrepid and brilliant Babu of uh, Lord Zed and Rita Repulsa fame. The bad guys have created a literal uh, monster that is a bronster, broadster, something like that. Basically it's bro and monster slapped together who is now the media mogul of Spectrum Social known as the Lunar Lycan Subscribe because that's horrible puns and it's a werewolf-like creature that gets more powerful depending on how many social media likes and how much it is trending and influencing. So that is just on the <laughs> nose fantastic. So the Rangers had been suckered into working with Spectrum Social to highlight CC Corzone's side business of speed dating. Aaron and Nicole are going to be on a date. CC and Derek are going to be on a date. They are filming in Sky's Ernie's Bar. Rowan is running tech. This has become basically Spectrum Social is putting their fingers into everything. So this has become a dating competition live stream live studio audience promotion of multiple products just every worst thing that could ever happen to the rangers is happening right now and let's get back into it rangers you are now at your dates a lackey has from spectrum social has wandered over and has dropped a couple of cards at aaron and nicole's uh table and at cc and derek's table uh, oh, yes, and the dating team's names are Free Hank and Sarek, I believe. Which is just, the, the, the there's like a lot of people in there just cheering on for these dates. 
Um, Sky, before we get to the dates, how are you feeling with this complete pandemonium of your bar? Um, it's going to be a pain, but this has been entertaining. I feel like Derek is getting a lot more entertainment out of it than I am. But um, I have now connected with some of the um, the Spectrum social production team. Started floating around, just being friendly. <laughs> okay. That That's why I was distracted earlier, because I'm just, you know, yeah, it's my bar. Out of the goodness of my heart, I'm helping my friend out. If I may for Sky, Sky, you may have noticed that Derek actually upped the price of soda. Yes. Perfect. <laughs> oh, yes, there's kids in the audience. One of, if you haven't seen some of our prior episodes, Aaron Hank has a really dedicated high school student football quarterback that is there to completely support him in finding love and anything else that f- brings happiness. In fact, yeah, that kid, Aaron, go ahead. That kid doesn't know how to tip, like in, in the no, opposite direction. It's always a $20 bill, like. For a five dollar yeah. or pop, like it's ridiculous. Yeah, just overly generous and just, just really sweet ish. Um, so yeah. <laughs> uh, oh yes, and the reason why Aaron Hank is wearing a aggressive red traffic cone, pardon me, orange traffic cone jacket, is because they are supporting. Uh, Principal Baker's Cool Cheetah Club that they're trying to get off the ground. Uh, Cheetos has become a running gag between this and I had to work it into every episode now. Anywho, all right. So we've got that. And real quick, Rowan, you've seen your little Saban lightning bolt has now become this little dancing werewolf that has their thumbs going like this on the screen, dancing around, thinking that they're cool and all that, and just kind of like... Yeah, starting their stuff uh, digitally as a little pixel thing. So, Aaron and Nicole, Cece and Derek. Uh, from Team Free Hank, decide who's going to roll a d20 for me. Cece and Derek, between you two, decide who's going to roll a d20. I'll do it. Okay. Light ladies first, I guess. Yeah. 13. Okay. 11. <laughs> okay, so we are going to focus on Cece and Derek's date. Yeah, let's go! <laughs> let's go! <laughs> so, and yes, uh, Arc Light Court, thank you for Derek, tuning in. Derek, 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 thank you for tuning in. It's great to see our fellow Power Rangers crew hanging out. Which you should check them out every Monday uh, here on the Initiative Order for Arcanites Power Rangers. It's a great series. All right. Cece, Derek, let's see your wonderfully tragic, heroic Sparks of Desire date. Oh, oh and uh, just before you um, get started, a uh, rather puffed up, important looking production manager pops over and they have a little clapboard uh, ready to go because they just really don't know how live streaming works. Okay, do, <laughs> do we do this in like one take, two takes? Is this something we can... Tr- oh, we do it live like that meme. Okay, we're doing it live like that meme. I guess I don't need to clap this, but I spent good money on this, so I'm just going to clap it anyway. And go! Oh, this is terribly awkward. Oh, um, oh okay, wait, great. wait, wait, wait. And you see coming this guy just running up in what looks like a 1970s Weathers sport jacket for like a, a news anchor that would be giving not only sports reports, but rather reports and they speak up hello and welcome to spectrum socials speed dating speedathon where tonight we've got two wonderful contestants dating make that four wonderful contestants haha i can't count Eh, need those fingers for that but anyway lovely we are going to meet our daters in a minute we're going to have you watch a highlight reel of some of the before action scenes that we've been filming the entire time that they've been here getting ready for their dates start that uh roll and we'll be back in a second so the light, Kate, lights and the cameras cut off and the host bends down and says all right cc derek uh this is rock bottom for me uh let's get me out of that I used to be something. You're great, man. You're doing great. Yeah, uh, You're you. doing fine. Wait, you recognize me as Gil? Gil the Greatest 
Weather Reporter, the 1970s in Angel Grove. Yeah. yeah. I remember you as a kid. That's wonderful. Well, I'm now hosting live streams for Spectrum Social. Uh, That's a long career, man. Yes. Uh, well, there was that. Oh, we won't get into that tragic story back past that I have there. But anyway, that will be discovered in another episode. <laughs> uh, I understand tragedy. Picture. Don't we all? And there's a single tear that just. He just kind of does that a little mirroring the uh, makeup that has been put on his cheek to like help clear it up a little bit. Uh, so now he's got a little streak there. Oh, we're back in five. Okay, quick. Uh, both of you give me an interesting fact about you. Too late. We're going live. Okay, we are back. I hope you enjoyed that highlight reel of Aaron kind of looking like a puffed up Cheeto puff. Nicole running around in circles in the parking lot for some reason. Guess getting those pre-date jitters out. It's very adorable and slightly awkward, but we love to see it. Cece here bossing everyone around and Derek just kind of fiddling with a watch. Cool. All right. Contestants Cece and Derek. Sarek, if you will. Audience, how are you rating their date chemistry so far? Zero, two, six. Oh, we need to see some sparks fly. Okay. I'm going to back off and good luck. Uh, uh, yeah, this is, um, this is a lot. I haven't really been on a date since my divorce. Um, so I don't really know how to go about doing this so much. Well, look, I mean, <laughs> who, who, who needs candlelight and romantic music when you've got cameras and boom mics so you know, you yeah know. that's fair i just didn't think this would be my first date after all of that tragedy nonsense that i put in my past that's why i came back to angel grove actually well, start a new life <laughs> well i wouldn't worry too much about it i mean this is sort of the thing that you do anyway you're an expert at this kind of thing so it's not really awkward it's you know you're you're, you're ultimately in control i mean like I apologize. I know I I feel a little underdressed. This is this is you know my usual. Aaron is over here, and uh, he's you know yeah. this is a, this is a statement. That is a press conference. This is well, awesome. To be fair, I <laughs> thought we were gonna do some um, some acro stuff because that's what we were talking about beforehand. So I kind of dressed down a little bit myself. I didn't think all of this was gonna start happening. Anyway. Uh, this is a competition, right? So yeah, yeah. Forgive me, I was hanging on to this, but I kind of want to win this. So um, he reaches, he reaches down, he pulls out this gilded rose that comes from their fight when he got attacked by the knickknacker, and he turned everything to gold. He's like, I was gonna give this to you much later, but. I know if I don't give this to you now, Aaron is going to be a gift before I do. So, here. Oh, thank you. And like, Cece, like, basically, like, tears start coming out of her eyes and she's just, like, overwhelmed by it. I, um, didn't know that you actually liked me like this, to be honest with you. I, well, you, you know, you, you said that this isn't been your, this is your first date in a while. It's mine too. And uh, I've been so bogged down with work and it's just helping out this guy with the bar. He does yeah. most of the work. I kind of supervise. Uh, this guy's your brother too, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's my, he's my stepbrother. A little younger, but yeah. Fair yeah, enough. Same dad. Got it. I, I, revered Nicole like my sister, but you know, sister from another mister sort of situation. <laughs> it's like training with her. She looks intense. She is intense. She's a good intense though. She she keeps me balanced. I'm a little bit more of the quirky, artsy side, and she's more of the zen wacha type person. <laughs> quirky like suddenly you become a reality tv show date phenomenon we're trending that kind are of we trend yeah that kind of quirky we're, we're trending we're trending technically i'm trending but i'm raising your stock oh 
I is, see. You know, I, I look over and I don't want to look directly at the camera, but it's like, you know, CC's CC's dating service is changing lives over here. Drop the X. It's better better than the Cirque stuff that I used to do. That sounds amazing. a lot less dangerous. <laughs> Oh, well, apparently Bobby, we're supposed to. Fit? Yeah, yeah. Apparently we're supposed to say something here, like connect, engage, oh, and and something else. Shine bright. Now he looks at the camera on Spectrum Social. And as you say that, the uh, host walks back in. Gil back. The audience, how are they doing? Woo! They are a cool time. Ten now. All like right, so Cece, Cece's going to pull something out of her back pocket, and she's going to go and kiss Derek. Aww. Roll for sweetness. As, <laughs> for sweetness! As, as, you, as you hear the uh, audience go, aww. 15. Woo! Oh, I was oh. kidding about the roll. You can just do this. <laughs> From the okay, but fi fi 15, just to let you know. Perfect. On the okay. pink dice. On the pink in dice. the middle of all the awes, you hear Sky in the background, what? <laughs> That's germs. Why are they exchanging germs like that? Okay. And yeah, Derek leans into it. A little stunned, but leaned into it. And you hear the woo, woo, ah, get a room. Yeah. DC just whispers to him for the win. And uh, you hear that's our Gil, close up. Gil um, <laughs> speaks up. Apparently, the acrobatic circus thing they wanted to do may happen later all right let's check in with free hank whoa gil <sighs> gil okay. is literally at rock bottom <laughs> <laughs> aaron nicole it's wonderful to have you on spectrum speed dating speeding service tonight or whatever we're calling this I'm i wish Gipsy. i could say the same guy has a heavy pour <laughs> He's a great dude. You should check out here at Ernie's Bar? Juice Bar? bar whatever it is called. Yeah. It, so just check out Sky. The, they posted it online. I don't know this tech stuff. The best Aaron. bar in town, by yep. the way. Absolutely the best bar in town. Absolutely. I, yeah, you can straight. find me here on every Wednesday ladies' night uh, because old Gil continues to strike out. He might take CC up on the speed dating service. Anyway, how are you two lovebirds doing? <laughs> and, uh, and are you in flames yet? Looks like there's oh. a lot of smoke. Ah, uh, well, I, I guess you know when there's smoke, there's fire. Uh, yes, a passion. Are we going for passion here? You are very eloquent and poetic in the way you speak, sir. <laughs> uh, well, I guess I really owe it all to uh, my learning at Angel Grove High School, where I used to go. Right, right, Nicole. We both used to yes <laughs> yeah. yes we both attended the same high school yeah. along with uh, the others yes oh so you're <laughs> high school sweethearts uh well uh i wouldn't say that per se we knew we were uh acquaintances oh, the, is that, uh, we is were the, both on varsity teams oh uh, so you were frenemies is that the correct term no no I no no we were no, totally no. different teams I, I did not play football uh, no even though yeah. women can play football too I mean, yeah, she <laughs> probably hits harder than a lot of the guys I played with back in the day. To be to be real, I I mean, I've I've, I've watched a train oh, and cool. Yeah. Can we see a demonstration of that? I'm sorry, of, of what? Demonstration of you what? tackling him. Oh, uh, uh, oh uh, yeah, with the the crew saying we can do that, we can institute challenges whenever we want. A uh, crew, let's get the dating table out of the way here. So some crew comes up and pulls the table away. And they roll out what uh, looks like a uh, fake mat of a football field that's like, you know, a really condensed, shrunk down version. You hear it from the audience. Yeah, coach, you can take her. Uh, uh, um, is this normal for uh, dates? I, I'm not sure. Usually you're just supposed, you're look, supposed to you're talk. Look, you're not trending. Nice we got to got to get you trending here. I'm trying to help you uh, out. I'm okay, out. Okay. Do your thing. Uh, okay. Aaron, you're going to have to take a kick from her. I hope you're... Ready to not snap another ankle. Wow, that was a short dig there at you. It but was you know my what? knee. It was my knee. It's Whatever. Okay. We're, we're Some we're lower good. body extremity that you can't get hard anymore because you need to work on it. I'm going oh. this way. Oh. And uh... Uh, 
Uh, Nicole will uh, will uh, pull <laughs> Hank pull Hank by the jacket yeah. to whisper into his ear, and she's, she's gonna say, "I'm listen. I'm gonna do something to make sure that you're not hurt, but this jacket will be ripped. Oh, you throw it out." This so, is for you, okay? Yeah, I'm in. I'm, in. I'm totally right, okay. in. So, <laughs> so we'll, we'll, we'll make use of the jacket. Let's just, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you think you will. Uh, anyway, cool. <laughs> so you see this person bring over, like, oh, you hear from the crowd, catch, coach, uh, as a football lands in your hand. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, nice throw. Take I... her down and spike it. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. I, I don't know if that's, I I think she's supposed, I don't know if that's right. If win, I'm, sir, win. I mean, uh. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let her tackle no, you. But, I got no, your strategy it. here. Bring it, bring it, uh, oh, okay. bring it. So, uh, remember okay. what we talked about. Yeah, so. uh, all right, well, here I, I guess, uh, here I come. And you see yeah. Aaron get into He's not getting into full three point stance, but you know he's getting in there. And before okay, you do uh, anything, you see Gil come back in what looks like a really sad knockoff of a Foot Locker uniform, <laughs> 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 and a little like whistle hanging down, and he puts it in his mouth and tests the tweets. I'm not going to actually whistle, but tweet tweet. All right, I, I think we're good here. I'm feeling good about this, uh, Aaron. Um, good luck. At the blow of the whistle, uh, I think we are going to be good here. Uh, all right. So, um, tweet tweet. N Nicole, <laughs> uh, uh, just just warn you on on the count of uh, on the count of a hike, you're gonna hear me yell a bunch of words. But uh, uh, once I say hike, I'm basically gonna hike it to myself and go at you. Okay, just letting you know. I, I'm very familiar. I've seen you on the field before. I'm ready. All right. Okay. So. Uh, Gil, whenever that whistle's ready, let's do this. Cool. So I'm a cruel story DM, and I'm going to make you roll for this. <laughs> All right, cool. Oh, yeah. yep. What am I rolling? So this is going to be an athletics versus an agility, I think. All right. Cool. Straight up, straight down. Unless, uh, Nicole, you can argue some other stat you would like to use. Okay. So, okay. Because what I'm trying to do is when he comes at me... Basically, she's not going to do a traditional like what um, what, you know, people expect as far as like a takedown like football. She's going to basically do like a kind of like something with martial arts. So she's going to basically uh, use the jacket as momentum to basically like flip him, like to basically kind of like judo throw him. Um, but um, in the process, she's going to basically try to like <laughs> like use that momentum to rip the jacket um and so it just splits it <laughs> any kind of way so he doesn't have to wear it anymore so that's the whole thing is i don't know if that's I, is that finesse are we doing like what what are we calling okay. the process of using the jacket to like try <laughs> to basically like use that to like throw him over her uh, shoulder pretty much and then basically take that jacket to like rip it that feels like a mic check process. with martial I... arts yeah, so I'm going to make this a couple... Let's see here. Because <laughs> this is hilarious to me. Um, Aaron, are you going to try to actually do your football moves, or are you going to try to lean into what she's setting up? I'm leaning in. I'm going straight. Yeah. Okay, then for you, I'm going to make this more of a performance role because you're going to be fighting against your football instincts to lean into kind of what she's trying to do. All right, then I will re-roll since the roll first. Well, yeah, let's do it. And then what is mine? Yours is going to be an a, if martial arts makes sense, if agility makes sense, whatever you think would make sense in this instance. This is a synthetic twenty. Okay, see. very good. Uh, so your performance, see. you channeled your inner. I am a feature kid. <laughs> if you ever were a feature kid, I don't know. Uh, for this, uh, hilarious. I assume they would have had the the football kids cross with the theater kids every now and then. Yes, they actually did. Uh, fun. Oh no! How'd you do? That was a seven. Oh, this is gonna be hilarious. 
Uh, okay. Okay, I will say this. You do have story points. Story points act like inspiration in D&D. &D. You get six of them per session because there are six rangers. If you want to burn a story point to have an automatic success, I'm cool with that. Burn it. Yes. Yes, I will. Okay. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yes. Yeah. So I'm, uh, we're learning the game as we go. So let's not forget about the story points. But don't forget, I, as the DM, also have story points I can yes. use against you. For sure. Okay. That's, so, that's fair. Okay. Uh... <laughs> okay. You gotta let me let me do okay. So yep, yep. Uh, just, I, just describe how this looks. All right. So once Gil blows the whistle, Tweet. you see. All right. So Aaron gets in, gets into his stance, and he's basically all right. Down, set, set. Omaha, 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 <laughs> Omaha. Hike, and you see him draw back, pitch the pitch the ball to the right. But he's not. He's faking the pitch. And then decides to tug it, and then he goes right at Nicole and runs. But he's not running full speed, but it, he's making it look like he's, he's running full speed. <laughs> um, and she's going to basically use that momentum to basically try to um, angle her body in such a way where, obviously, because Hank, uh, Aaron Hank is so much bigger than Nicole, um, she's going to have to have a little bit of leverage in order to basically get that momentum to, like, use his his body motion um to her advantage and to like use the jacket as well to throw him um uh backwards and uh as he flips backwards he's going to definitely let the jacket take the brunt of all the force yeah like where it's like, it, like basically where he when he's flipping it's like being pulled so you just hear the <laughs> of the fabric so, As he lands on it, but she's also pulling it. <laughs> two things happen. There's a slow motion zoom in on co uh, on Principal Baker's <laughs> cool cheetah club jacket. Mm -hmm. As the song in the arms of an angel starts to yeah. <laughs> As tears start to roll down Principal Baker's face as he sees this wonderful opportunity for his Cheeto Cool Cheeto Club merch to get highlighted, gets destroyed, and he just starts to openly weep in the corner as he takes the Cheeto bag and dabs his eyes a little bit and starts to tear up a little bit more because he realized it was hot Cheetos. Now he has some ice in his eyes. <laughs> oh. All right, so as and, Aaron, and, yeah, and so go ahead. So you don't, none of you see this. Okay, so uh, as Aaron lands and the and realizes the jacket is torn. Yes. Oh, oh, uh, oh no! I uh, see. We seem to have a. Uh... <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I, you know, I, I was trying to be careful. I, I did not mean for that to happen to your amazing. <laughs> Check it! Oh, no, I'm uh, so sorry. What, what what a shame! But hey, listen, uh, you know that was a really good that was a really good takedown. Like I, I'm hoping that some of my guys in in you know in the crowd took you know took a couple of notes of that. So this is don't just don't use that during the games. That's that's a little uh, martial yeah, arts magic. Uh, yeah, you know, don't use that on the field because you probably get you know benched. Don't do it. Yeah. So, so go ahead. Uh, I, I just, you know, I mean, this is pretty cool. I think I just learned how to do this. Um, hey, um, so, Nicole, if we can do this, let's, I guess they call it taking a selfie together. Did you, like, this is like a pretty cool moment, I guess, right? Oh, oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, but, you know, I feel like in that moment, we unlocked the power of connection with Spectrum Social. <laughs> so as you take your selfie Gil kind of leans in there a little bit and whispers photobomb uh, and, <laughs> and then <laughs> and Gil also speaks up well it looks like Nicole is ready to and anxious to get Aaron out of his clothing that was quite the spicy thing remember you two this is PG-13 stream not adults oh. Sorry, uh, if two X is not three, 
We have. Oh, 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 oh I oh. was <laughs> definitely not trying to get him out of his clothes. Um, that certainly um, looked no. like it. No, but uh, no, I'm I'm pretty. Uh, I, I I'm pretty. You know, it's okay. We're, we're pretty steady here, and uh, well, I, I I guess on on that note, I mean, uh, speaking of steady, um, maybe you'd like to go steady, Nicole. I mean, uh, I mean, is that what they call it nowadays, or? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that that uh, saying has changed um, since uh, the yesteryears, but I think it still applies in this unique environment. So, um, oh, don't tell sure, me. It's, sure, sure, yeah, yeah, let, let, yeah, sure. I mean, I don't tell me it's changed to like unlocking the power of connection with Spectrum Social, like we said <laughs> earlier. <laughs> And you hear the crowd go, woo, free Hank, free Hank, kiss her, kiss her. Um, Nicole will take Aaron's arm and then do like the, like, <laughs> like victory. Like victory, like. <laughs> like, you know, where it's like the raising the arms. The arms. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. This is what's going to happen. All right. Aaron, your danger sentence goes off. As this, like... How should I describe this? Yeah, that works. As the... Um, this slow clapping just starts to echo very slowly. Golf clapping throughout... Ernie's bar as you see that the entirety of the crowd has frozen in place and you see Gil having just kind of doing a up to a camera about ready to announce something else as the head of Spectrum Social walks in very slowly very calmly wearing sunglasses inside because he's cool like that and his tank top aggressively blue and white with the spectrum social uh, advertising and just kind of has this like wolfish grin on their face as they speak up well rangers i could not have done any better than what you just did What the hell are you talking about? Oh, <laughs> you played right into my trap. And then it lets out this big, like, howl as, like, a digital moon appears in front of it. And it morphs and changes into this, like, bigger werewolf-like creature that has fur and these claws rippling out of it. There is a follower count of basically the entire population, minus a few people of Angel Grove, etched on its arm bicep as this glowing energy is coming off of it. The likes on Spectrum Social are just big S's, but are kind of almost look like they're Z's, almost. And they flash like a greenish red lightning bolt energy as the head of spectrum social growls welcome to the digital realm and that's where we're gonna have episode three tonight <laughs> so surprise this is a two-parter so nice. <laughs> you will have to join us in two weeks to see the conclusion <laughs> of our wired warriors episode so um, thank you for everyone that has tuned in tonight. We are going to go around again in Ranger order and introduce who we are, the projects we're working on, and where you can find us. And then we'll wrap everything up. So uh, Matt, let's start with you. Hey, everybody. I'm Matt Joro. I just played Derek Walker, the Green Ranger. Um, you may know me as Dungeon Glitch from the onlines. Uh, Probably from Twitter, but if you're trying to keep up with me, I'm on Thread right now. Uh, it's, 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 yeah, the only one I kind of like right now. So, uh, right now I'm just working on, I'm not working on anything. 
I play private games. I'm pro DM. I just do whatever I want these days. So uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, thank you so much. Everyone's fantastic. That's it for me. And then that is me. Hello, everyone. My name is Christian, better known as Kappa in most online spaces. I was Sky Dantara, your Black Ranger for the evening. Uh, you can find me on Twitter, and um, I'm trying out Blue Sky. That that one's that one. Trying to make it a thing. Threads, I'm debating. Um, we'll see. But um, for now, um, most of my projects you'll be able to find on Twitter. So I have this. Um, Roads Uncharted is an actual play podcast in which I am in anywhere you can find your favorite podcast. It is a nice, whimsical story. And we are just now finishing up the last of the recordings for season four. Um, and so uh, if you want to catch up, now's per, per, uh, a good time to do it um yeah that's all i'm gonna plug this uh this evening um but if twitter's pro twitter and blue sky are probably the best places to go look for that um kappa chris the kappa chris yeah i'm done all right i guess that's me so hi i'm cynthia marie i play cc corazon your pink ranger and rita repulsa with the crazy voice um, I don't have a whole lot of projects going on because I am surviving cancer right now and going through chemo. Um, so not too many projects, just doing that. Um, but look for me in the fall when I'm done and I'm going to start working on some new fun projects. But if you want to see me in other things, I'm in a little known vampire show called LA by Night or New York by Night. I play two different vampires there. You can go check that out. Um, yeah. And oh, socials. You can find me on the socials, Sin Dancer. Um, I'm having more fun on threads than, than, um, uh, blue sky. So posting more on threads, but I'm on blue sky as well. And on Twitter and on Instagram, although Instagram's different, Cynthia underscore underscore Marie. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for you. And this was so much fun. Hi, so I'm Kira858. I played Rowan, your Blue Ranger, and I mentioned this was an absolute blast. In terms of projects, uh, you can find most of our content listed at the Cookout TTRPGs or YouTube or on Twitch uh, at the Kira858. If you're going to San Diego Comic Con, I'll be around, so maybe you can step by, say hi. We could meet out, have a good time. Um, in terms of the, the biggest things that's coming out in the near future is I have my own comic book company called Snowstorm Comics, and I'll be releasing our first comic book within the uh, next couple months or so so be able to look out for that make sure to follow us on our socials at the kara 858 uh, for with that is debut because we have a lot in store and uh that's me hello everyone i absolutely love everyone at this table uh and it has been just so wonderful going on this journey with this amazing crew this amazing power ranger squad um i am uh brianna but most of you guys know me on the social medias as utahime uh and uh, you can find me at utahime cosplay uta h-i-m-e cosplay pretty much everywhere including on threads i am not uh cool enough to have uh been able to get an invitation to blue sky so therefore don't worry about it if you can see me still on thread since that seems to be just as popular um and then if you're still on twitter it's at brianna de costa on twitter um as the name suggests i'm a cosplayer host uh up to lots of TTRPG shenanigans, um, including tomorrow, um, the finale of our epic Leverage Los Angeles campaign. It is season two, the epic finale. So please tune in 5 p.m. Pacific time. You don't want to miss it. If you're into anything like Ocean's Eleven, any type of heist type uh, show or movie, this is the game for you. Definitely check it out if you're a fan also too of uh, Leverage to Television Show. That's what the TTRPG is based off of using the Cortex system. Uh, but yeah, please join uh, to see what happens. Um, and then um, also on Monday, um, me and uh, and Andrew are part of the uh, Modifius uh, Fallout uh, campaign, uh, Winter of Adam, over on the Modifius channel. So definitely tune in for that. It's been a lot of fun uh, journeying through the wasteland with that crew. 
Um, and oh, I am also too going to be at San Diego Comic Con. So if you want to uh, see me, I am going to be participating in the Malibu Daydream Experience. Uh, so you know, life in plastic, it's fantastic. If you want to check it out, um, XLE Productions um, has uh, the event information on their page. So please be sure to check it out. And I may be also too participating in a special Modifius Entertainment game. Uh, the announcement will come out soon for that. So just stay tuned for the socials and all that information will be provided and passing it along to our leader <laughs> oh leader leader is a very loose term here i i, I find this as more of a very a very e equal conglomerate here but what's up everyone andrew j landy checking in i played aaron hank your your red ranger again pronouns he him you can find me instagram twitter and threads at, at andrew j landy that's andrew the letter j then a landy my last name i'm also on blue sky um i'm on duralath on blue sky which references my fighting game uh my fighting game identity. So I play like I play copious amounts of Street Fighter. Sometimes too much for my own good, but uh, definitely hit me up there. Uh, projects coming up. Not for mention uh, the ones that I've worked with with Utsuhime, but Utsuhime and I will also be at Gen Con. Uh, that's coming up next month. We are the two of the official cosplayers for Modifius and their IP Dreams and Machines. Uh, if you definitely want to check that out, it's a beautiful world with uh, uh, new Moscow of their they're putting up something together so check out dreamsandmachines.com so both utsuhime and i are two of the official cosplayers and i also play dr izu chavez in some of the audio snippets that are on uh, dreamsandmachines.com they have uh, five clips there that tell a little bit of the, the story of what goes on in in uh in basically in that world so check that out and above all again everybody stay cool stay frosty we we'll love you all again thanks for tuning in all right, my turn. So I got to play every annoying character tonight that hassled our rangers, which was hilariously fun. Uh, you can find me over on Twitter at caffeinated underscore Dan or at Creators Assemble, which is a nonprofit that uses TTRPGs, comics, books, pop culture for educational purposes. I think I might have to give in to peer pressure and join threads at some point so I can follow all these wonderful folks there and have way too many social media accounts because... One thing we learned tonight during this episode is you can't have enough social media. Okay, now that I've let that life lesson sink in, uh, <laughs> I will also be at San Diego Comic-Con uh, Friday night. I'm doing a wonderful panel with some very wonderful folks about cosplay characters and charity and how cosplay can help engage charity for great causes for live streaming and all that good stuff. Also on Saturday of con, there will be a wonderful networking event from four to six o'clock that has major amounts of content creators, comic book publishers, comic book writers, educators, librarians. If you want to get into the comic book industry, you want to attend this. If you want to get into other industries, things like that, they have a lot of good tips and tricks. Come check it out. It's fantastic. Uh, it's called Comics Camaraderie and something like that. But, yep, yeah, hit me up on social media. You'll see it retweeted. So thank you again to all you wonderful folks that tuned in tonight. Players, Rangers, you are fantastic. I'm so thrilled and happy you are my Rangers. This is fantastic. So turn in in two weeks for part two of Wired Warriors. Stick around for just a couple moments to see the end credits for some wonderful deals from the initiative order and we will see you in a couple of weeks hope everyone had a wonderful time tuning in and we'll see you soon